today let us see how to find the area of a irregular shape using a geo board so for doing this activity we need a geo board i've taken a, a square geo board and some rubber bands a marker and some square pieces for doing this activity now i will form a irregular shape using this rubber band on this geo board like this you can form any irregular shape so i formed a irregular shape with this uh, rubber band now to find the area of this irregular shape we have four rules the first rule is so whatever the squares which are inside this we have to count the number of squares which are inside this boundary so the number of full squares so the number of full squares which are here they are counted as 1 cm square okay so the number of full squares are counted as 1 cm square for that i have taken a small uh, square square piece paper to indicate that and i can keep it inside this so i have taken a square piece paper and if there are more than half squares for example here i have a more than half square here so here also i have a more than half square here also i have a more than half square so if it is more than half square so for that also we will consider it as 1 cm square this is the second rule for more than half we consider it as 1 cm square for that also i'll use the same square piece so it is exactly half square so here i have an exactly half square here so for that i have an half white paper cut half square paper which is cut here so like a triangle so i can use this so that is considered as an half cm square so if it is less than half uh if this is less than half like here if it is less than half we will not consider this square at all so counting this number of squares which are inside this so we can find the area of irregular shape so let us start the activity so now i have got an irregular shape here so i will start filling it with first the full squares so i am going to fill this full squares one by one So now I completed uh, all the full squares. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight full squares which are there. So now I will write it on one corner of this uh, sheet. You can write it. Plus how many? Eight. Now I'll see how many more than half squares are there. So if I with the more than half square i will use the same piece of paper uh, piece of paper so that it is also counted as 1 cm square so i have one here so one more here and one more here same way one more here and one more here so this is my more than half so 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 more than half is there so more than half into 5 squares are there 5 now i'll see exactly half how many squares are there so i'll keep this triangle there so here i have exactly half so i'll keep one so this is exactly half i have 1 2 3 <laughs> so i'll have half plus 3 so i have 3 here now i have less than half 1 and 2 so i am not uh, using any paper because that is considered as zero so less than half less than half half is 
So when we want to find the area of this irregular shape, so this full square is multiplied by 1, same way more than half is also multiplied by 1 and half is multiplied by half and this is multiplied by 0. So when I see the total of this, so I'll get 8 plus 5, 13, 13, 13 and I have plus 1 and half. So that is nothing but, sorry, 13 plus 1 and half, that is nothing but 14.5 centimeter square. So the total area of this whole, uh, this uh, irregular shape will be 14.5 centimeter square. So in the same manner, what you can do is, you can find the area of any irregular shape uh, using this geocode. So you can count it and write the numbers and for the full squares you will count it as one centimeter square and for more than half also one centimeter square and exactly half half and for less than half you will calculate it as zero. Thank you.